This is Halo Infinite running on Xbox Series X. In today's video we'll be looking at its graphics performance and gameplay after a number of updates this game received over the last couple of months. Ray tracing update is one of them really and that's what I really want to check today because it's been a while since I played that game so without any further ado let's just jump in. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is Halo Infinite running on Xbox Series X, like I said in the intro. But uh, this time around it's uh, running in ray tracing mode. So I've made some Halo Infinite videos in the past from both PC and Xbox, but this is the first time I'm actually uh, giving this game a look in with ray tracing on so there's actually a number of uh, not really modes because this game don't offer modes per se you've got you actually have got a kind of like number of options in the menu where you can um, you know turn you can turn 30 frames per second on or ray tracing on so i'm running this game with ray tracing on at 60 frames per second it's using dynamic resolution scaling uh, as most of most games these days and um, I'm actually quite surprised that with ray tracing on it's actually pretty sharp and stable 60 right so that's not always always the case and uh, but I must say that I think the ray tracing is actually pretty limited in this game because the only, um, the only thing it uh, uses ray tracing for is the shadows. At l not even sure if all of, if, if that's if that applies to all shadows, but like um, shadows from the sun apparently, right? Um, that's what it says in the game settings, right? Die already. Hold on. You can hide behind the behind the um where are you where are you where is it coming from Yeah so um yeah graphics doesn't really change much obviously this is the same good old Halo Infinite which well to be honest with you looks pretty good um I mean I I think that graphics in this game never uh, has never been a major issue Yes, there there was some comments and some um, uh, controversy surrounding games graphics after the the first presentation um, at E3 like three years ago, something like that. But after that, I think they improved that game, um, like image quality and everything, and uh, it's. You know stable 60 frames per second as, as you can see i think the main issue with this game's graphics is the is only the fact that it's kind of after a while it gets boring because uh yeah it's it it's one big kind of map which looks kind of the same uh yes in some places you've got more grass in others more um you know stones or whatever right um, and it's you know I and I I cannot really say that this is a bad looking game or anything like that. It's just you know you're looking pretty much at the same game all the time, like same style of graphics, right? Like no variety at all. And uh, this is not what this is not what Halo Halo games were about. I I remember playing previous Halo games and they 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 would offer like different biomes i think they they call it um different maps and stuff it's better with in multiplayer obviously because multiplayer offers different maps and um some of some of these maps actually look really really good uh, and i think that these mul multiplayer maps actually 
offer um, more in terms of graphics than the actual campaign. I mean, the cool thing about the campaign is that this like offers uh, offer this open world um, and uh, and stuff. Uh, so that's kind of cool. And you've got this huge map over here. Um, but um, okay, let's actually try to reach this FOB. It's there. Um, but like I said, like, you know, graphics styles, it's kind of same-ish all the time, right? So like, you're not, and you know, it was kind of cool when you, uh, in Halo, in previous Halo games, where you would just basically grow, go from one um, kind of graphic style. I mean, style is the same, but like, if you know what I mean, right? Like, different maps would offer different, a little bit different kind of... Uh, flavor right S still the same engine there and everything but uh you know but here you you we, we don't get that really um i think that the most impressive was really the beginning the very beginning of the game i guess uh where you were underground and um no let's fly Yeah, I'm kind of curious how they handle uh, streaming and stuff. Yeah, so the the actual map is huge as you can see. There's a lot of stuff you can visit, but like pretty much all of this area is kind of sameish, right? You know, few trees, a little bit of grass here and there ton of rocks and like all this environment is pretty much the same all the time from almost the very big almost beginning of the game because like i said like the ver the first hour of the game is um like underground takes place underground and obviously you've got these bases which you know but it's still kind of sameish right so um that's the main issue i've got i I've, I've got with this game there's still a little so graphics really didn't change really like we still get popping <laughs> like flying around and stuff so um yeah even on xbox Series X. so that's kind of um yeah but we get that on pc too so i guess it's it's the engine limitation for the for the most part so yeah guys listen um yeah, this is campaign on Xbox Series X with ray tracing on. Um, I guess the what impresses me is the fact that even though uh, the ray tracing on is at least is on at least for the shadows, um, you know, it's still the image quality is, is really sharp. I mean, it looks 4K or very close and it's um yeah 60 frames per second for the most part i did notice some kind of stutters like very mild stutters nothing major really but um yeah let's try to cause some havoc anyone here anyway I don't see any. Oh, there's some creatures here. That's cool. Let's cause some havoc. So the actual gameplay loop is very fun to play to be honest with you this it's actually pretty addicting that's why multiplayer is so good because the actual gameplay is really really good and now with more and more uh, maps to play uh, people are actually really coming back to play um, halo uh, infinite i think i've seen some numbers uh, of like people playing this game right now and like it's it's not like it's not like in you know beating any of the top shooters and stuff but 
you know, these numbers actually growing constantly. So that's good. Like the more they provide. And, uh, and obviously Phil Spencer did say that um, that um, Halo is a very important franchise, right? Oh, shit. Oh, so I died. So there we go, guys. So that's Halo Infinite for you on Xbox Series X with ray tracing on. I mean, graphics looks pretty much the same. So ray tracing doesn't really do much of a difference, in my opinion. Um, so, I mean, it's just some shadows here and there. But, um, yeah, I mean, the game is just fun to play and I also heard that multiplayer is actually taking better advantage of like these ray tracing and that kind of stuff so I'll probably make another video about it uh, soon um, I'll play some multiplayer first uh, because you know I got rusty a little bit so yeah guys that's the video I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below what you think about it and uh, I'll see you in the next one take care